G'day folks from uh, sunny southeast Queensland. Today we're doing an STC A5130. It's from about 1953, I believe. It's uh, called the, well, it's either called the waterfall due to the little shapes on the top there, or the uh, Eiffel Tower because of the little, looks like an Eiffel Tower. It's actually a radio tower. The STC used to use as their logo. It's in pretty good nick. It's got um, good dial. Oh, looks good. The padding behind it, the uh, fabric behind it's gone, but the case is in very good condition. It's um, lost lost its shine. We might should be able to bring that back, either polishing it or adding a polish to it after I've uh, cleaned it. So, uh, but otherwise, pretty good. A bit of paint there. Yeah, not too bad. So, we're in very good condition. And let's have a look in the back here. Doesn't look too bad. Pretty a bit rusty on the top of the chassis there. Not too bad though, that should clean up okay. There's a couple of valves missing. Looks like the rip hello, there they are there, they're in the back. They're in the back. So someone's Someone's had trouble and then tried to fix it by pulling some valves out. I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, they're in there. Uh, uh, looks a bit corroded or something in there. I'm not sure. I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy. It's got the knobs. It's the the hardest thing to do is get the correct knobs for the correct radio. And I don't know how I'm going to clean in there. No idea. So, I guess the next thing to do is pull it apart and see what's inside. The first thing. All the parts in a tray so I can find them again one day. We sold a couple of these last week in a club auction that uh, they went for a pretty good price, which is unusual in the club auction because club auctions don't usually fetch a lot of money. Uh, there goes the valve. Get that out of there. It's got no number on. Not anymore anyway. I'll, I'll be the rectifier. I think the other one will be the detector. I oh, can't get it. Alright, oh, we'll leave it there. Let's get those screws out of there. And hopefully, it'll just pop out. I think it does. rid of the cabinet, there we go, and there's the other, there's the other valve in there, oh, it's stuck. Uh, 6BW6, so that's the output valve, yeah. is that where the output valve is supposed to go, rectifier, output, detector, no. Alright, we'll have to find out. Alright, it looks looks fairly original in there. Yeah, all original waxy caps. Nothing much uh I can't see any replacement parts. That yellow, those two yellow Ducon caps look a bit like they've been changed later on. Generally not too bad.
All right, we'll have a look at the. Let's have a look at the top. Might release that speaker so I can see what's going on in that original cloth. Oh, actually, bad. Oh, I wonder. I wonder if it is original. I don't know. Looks like a bit of someone's sheet off the bed. Just undo this little screw here. There's one on the other side on the in a uh, Speaker's cracked. You can see the cracks in there, but it doesn't. Uh. All right, I'll have a look at that later. And there it is. It's got a uh, choker there as well with glue it, and an output transformer for the speaker. Two condenser gangs. A little valve hiding behind there. 12AH8 I believe. Pretty simple. Just uh, unsolder this speaker, we'll get rid of that, get that out of the way. Yeah, I'm not getting much out of this. This is a new iron, it's about the first time I've used it so. Not as hot as I would have liked. So increase the temp a bit. Doesn't seem very. No, let's just get rid of this. Put that back on. Hmm. Yep. Okay. So the speaker's not as bad. I thought what usually happens is this. This gets holes in it and the dirt falls in there and sticks between the voice coil. So uh, that's that's ugly. Yeah, we might, might be able to save it. The trouble is you lose your cushion on there. Doesn't let the speaker diaphragm move as well as it could. Alright, that's for later. Okay. Go out in the garage and uh, blow this, blow the dust off it. Bit better now. Cleaned it up a bit, and it's uh, got a lot of the dirt out of there, a lot of the dust anyway. So uh, I'll be able to see what I'm doing a bit better. Um, it, it occurred to me that this um, um, 6x4 is a seven pin. So that's the um, that's the rectifier. So the rectifier is sitting between the output valve and the uh, detector so um, so these valves so the 6 6 BW 6 is the detector and uh, sorry that's the output valve so um, that's the final amplifier and that's a 6N8 so that's the, um, the detector and uh, preamp valve so looks like we've got all the valves uh, I'll test them shortly and uh, we'll see how we go. I'm going to have to, uh, I'll change, I think I'll change most of these caps. I, 
hardly worth um, mucking around with them and um, you know, trying to save them. Um, if I've got to change one, I might as well change them all. So I'm going to change those. Some of the wiring is disintegrated there. You can see it. Uh, you can see it just falling apart. It's not too bad. Most of it's a, a plastic sort of wire, so uh, like that yellow there, and the red ones. Um, the point-to-point -point wiring is not too bad generally. So they're the they're the main. That one goes off to the uh, these two go off to the to the, um, the lamp on the front of the scale, so or the dial. So I'll change those. They're only six volt. But we'll get rid of them. And the power cord coming in. Eventually I'll. I'll uh, upgrade that to a, a three pin or three core plug earth and put a fuse in try and make it safer if I can so what I what I generally do with radios is um, is get them working get it all sorted out then I go and pull it apart and re restore refurbish whatever I can on the front or on the top of it so that it um, looks this one I'm not going to make it look like new I'll make it look as good as I can and that'll be the that'll that'll do it I don't want to take away too much of its originality um, <coughs> anyway so what I'm going to do now I might um, I might start changing some of the caps I think I'll start on the the biggest one first I'll just get this this is a um, 0.25 um, 400 volts. Uh, my replacement is 0.22. I don't have a 0.25. I don't think they make them anymore. If they do, I haven't got any. And these are rated at 630 volts. And look at the look at the difference in size. Just amazing. So there'll be plenty more room in there once I've finished with this. Now, when I change them, I I used to try and um, desolder them from the from their points and make it all neat and tidy but it ended up ruining so many solder joints just trying to heat them up to get them out particularly if they've curled it when they've manufactured it you, you just can't get them apart easily without causing a lot of damage so what I do now is I snip off the lead and make a little curl in the end a little pigtail and or a little yeah, a little curve I suppose a little U-shape, <coughs> and then uh, t um, capture the the uh, the new lead with it, and uh, possibly make a U-shape in that so that they hook together, make a mechanical joint, and then go solder it. Uh, the other thing is that if I, once I disconnected them by soldering, I ended up not knowing where I'd taken it from. So um, I'd sit there scratching my head for ten minutes, making sure I'd got it in the right place. So I'm just going to snip that one out. And there it is, high seal. Looks alright, it'll be interesting to check it to see if it's got any any life left in it still. Ah, that's, uh, I said I was going to make it look neat. That's, that's anything but, anyway. Just straighten it up a bit, uh, so it does kind of look a bit neater. Goodness me! Okay. Oh, I might I might add these are um, these are the electrolytic. So normally they're in a can sitting on the top. Through they haven't got that on these ones. These are just plain old electrolytic sitting there. Uh, so we've got one at, I think, yeah, the 16, this one I think is 8. Looking at this, the uh, diagram or the schematic for the thing. Uh, uh, 350 volts. Mm, I think that's an 8. Yeah, it's an 8. So. Cool. I'll uh, see what I can find. 
I've got I've got both those, so I'll be able to uh, replace those. Just thought I might test this capacitor. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't got any haven't got any wires on them. Um, so let's just try and solder that on there. dandy capacitor test. I suppose that's not going to fit in there now, is it? There goes one. So I've got that in the second slot there. Okay. Let's see what it says. It says it's got an ESR of 1.8 ohm, that's pretty good. 0.8% um, loss, V loss. And it's 252.3 nanofarad. What was it supposed to be? 250, it's pretty, it's spot on. So that one was good. I'll just test it with a capacitor tester too, just for fun. Uh, what have saved me? This doesn't give you sort of leakage, this thing. So, uh, what are we at? Uh, point, oops, point two, yeah, two four oh, so, yeah. Wow. All right, so after I turned the cameras off, I realized I'd actually put the wrong value capacitor in here, and I've put in a, I put in a zero two two, 0.022 instead of a 0.22. So I've changed that, made a slightly neater job of it as well. I've got, uh, I'm just going to replace these electrodes. Uh, that's the positive end. There's a red, you can't see it, there's a red um, end on there to show it's positive. There's a red end on there, so that's positive. So that, that end's going straight to the ground, and I have no idea where that one's going. Ultimately, it'll go to ground anyway. So I've got that one's 16, and I've got a uh, let's see, a that's a 10. Yeah, I got a 16. So I replace that with a 16, uh, but don't make eights anymore. So there's a 10. So I'll stick the 10 in there. A bit bigger, won't, won't, won't hurt it at all. And I'll just make sure the polarity is correct. So that's the positive end. So that one will go that way, negative to earth or ground and this one goes the positive is at that end so that's sitting the right way so I'll just I'll solder, solder those in there all right but I don't know what, what I was thinking there I got the wrong one out so I'll put it in there there's the old <laughs> I'll have to uh, I'll reuse it somewhere else there'll be a point two somewhere okay so I've changed that one got that one in there I'm just going to mount this one, and this one is, uh, I'm just going to, the, the negative end goes onto that um, tab strip there, and the other end's going off somewhere else. <laughs> I'll have to have a look. So, that's going to sit in there. Now, interestingly, that's not going straight to earth, that, that, um, that wire that's there. It's... Um, it's going off. It's going off on into into these um, this red and black wire, and that's going off. And I think that's going to the choke. So if we have a look quickly at the schematic, and that's exactly exactly what it's doing. Yeah. So there's our there's the cap there. So it's coming off a B plus line straight out of the uh, rectifier and goes off to the choke and when the choke 
wire returns it, it's um, going to earth there. So it's not going directly to earth. It's a bit of a strange setup actually. I don't, I've not seen that before either. So not that I'm terribly experienced at any of this. But if, uh, yeah, so there's the red, red and black wire going off to the choke coming back. And the black wire goes straight back here, which is the earth tab. Yep, straight onto earth. So that's the uh, that's the difference there. All right, so I'm going to try to make this reasonably neat. If I can, I'll just put a put a little bend in that. Come around there. And I'll just make it look. There you go. And loop. I'll just squash that on there. Says me. Here's the other pliers. That's. I was trying to make it neat. I didn't succeed in any way. Ugh. Gosh, what a mess. There. Right. So I'll just trim that tail off there. I don't want to melt that wire while I solder this up. I think they're the speaker wires going off. Are they going up to the top, top of the chassis anyway. All right, so there. That looks pretty good. Get it to stay there. I'm going to put in there long enough for me to solder it. Okay, that looks pretty good. I've lost my side cutters, I was going to say. Found them again, so we're good. All right. As I said, I try and keep the numbers up the top. Not, not always successful. Uh, that's got to go up here, doesn't it? And how are we going to do that? Should I just keep that, or should I... Why don't we go back over here? Should do it. Just lift it up a bit. Might put some heat shrink on there just to make it look look as though I know what I'm doing. So uh, just let me get a bit of heat shrink here. Okay. Seeing it's got B plus on it, we might as well make sure we don't get any accidental short circuit okay. those wires are so thick those leads for the the old capacitor goodness let's carry half the Current for your house. All right. Just, just for fun, I'll, I'll uh, shrink that on, make it look neat. There you go. Uh, all right. Very nice. Okay. I'll straighten that up. So that's those two. Um, I don't think we need to show any more. Of how to change capacitors. There's plenty of YouTube videos around showing how to change caps. That's the uh, aerial wire by look at aerial and the uh, well earth wire there chassis wire, chassis ground. <laughs> yeah, gone, chewed. I don't know. All right. Change that. I have to change these wires. Oh, yeah. 
Where's the other ones? Uh, yeah. There's the other lamp wires. I haven't got any of this cotton covered um, wire. I did have some, but it, I don't know, it was very. The wire inside wasn't very ductile, it would just sort of snap off more than bend it, so uh, it it seemed too stiff. I'll, I'll see if I can get some more, see if I can get a better um, quality or something. I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't think I'll bother testing those caps there. It may work, may not, who cares. They're gone. Alright, so far so good. As I said, I'll just keep plodding along. This one looks like a good candidate. I'll get rid of him. What's that one? A 0.05. Now remember, it's 0.05. So, get rid of that. 0.05. Oh five point one point oh point oh four seven closest I've got is point oh four seven and it'll be fine. You see, I've just got up and got the capacitor down. If I'd cut those off or remove them, which I still do if I can, I don't I don't have a dead set policy of not doing it, but if um if I just unsoldered that from its point, when I, when I come back, I struggle to think where I got it from. And I, uh, I usually take lots and lots of photos of the set before I even start working on it. Fortunately, I haven't done that today, but anyway. Put a bit of heat shrink on this one. Just for fun, see, and I've lost it again. Man, it's so easy to do. Didn't hang on to it properly. Uh, you can see them in there. You don't want to get those little things stuck in there because they'll break your heart one day. Turn it on and whooshka. Done. Okay, here we go. And get that soldering iron. Nice. There you go. I should do that one while I get this out of the way, shouldn't I? Where's that going? Oh, it's just going in a little circle. There we go. Alright, let's get that. That one is a... I can't see it. That is a 0.01. Got there. Point, oh, 0.01. Oh no, it was a 0 0.02. 0 0.01. Little black one there. I don't think it needs to. Oh, look at the corrosion on that. Once again, struggle to find where you got them from once you turn away. So what they have done, what they had was that sitting under there. So I might do the same.
try and crimp that in there. No. I'm in your way there, sorry about that. I'm just trying to <laughs> goodness me. Just trying to crimp it down so I can make a mechanical attachment. And I just can't get it. There it goes. Okay. Let's get that one held in the spot. Okay, that's that's good. Uh, yeah. So try and get the, the text up so you can somebody's got a hope of reading it some years later. Is that the one I've got to go to? Yeah. Uh, let's push that down to there somewhere. That looks good. Come back here with that. Under that, should I put a bit of um, I'll put a bit of heat shrink on there just mainly because I can more than, than I need to. These the leads on this capacitor are, are thinner than the the one I'm putting on, which is unusual. It must must be only a low voltage. I didn't check the voltage. On the old cap, I didn't check the voltage on the old list. All, all of mine are in, I think they're 630. Alright, that's got it. I'll shrink that on, make it look neat. That's good. Okay, so now I'll just go. Could have made that a bit shorter. That lead there. Anyway, it's actually way too long. Should I put a bit of shrink on that? Here's all my shrink up. I got those right. Those two caps, I mean, put them in, put the right one in the right spot. Mm, be tr trouble if I haven't. Um, trying to bend myself backwards here. Okay, and take the top off that. Beautiful. Okay, bit of a Top of solder on there. Oh, how lovely. And repeat shrink. There we go. There's two more. Done. I'll just check I did get those right. That's a 473, and this one was a 0.01, so point. One zero three is is, uh, uh, is point zero one. Sorry, the code on it is one zero three, so that makes it a point zero one. Correct. Just having a quick look at my code book up there. Oh, I didn't shrink that one. Huh. Oh, that's no good. Okay. Looks like I could kind of get 
good candidate sitting there. What's that? 0 0.05. 0 0.05. 400 volts. What was that voltage on that? In Australia, temp, high seal. Hmm, 0.05. Oh, there's the voltage there. This looks like 600 volt. Hmm. Okay. All right, this one. Uh, 0.05. Ooh, I can use my. Oh no, 0.05. Yeah. Okay, 0 0.05. 0 0.047 again. Uh, might have run out of black ones, I think. Oh no. There's a black one. <laughs> so that's got to go there. I was almost going to turn this radio on and just see if it worked just for fun, but I totally forgot to do it. These um, these old wax caps had a black band around one end, and that doesn't indicate polarity. These are non non. There's no polarity with them. The, the black band is the shield, so it's got the the outer um, layer of um, metal on the outside. So that they generally put that to earth to, to shield the insides of the cap from stray RF signals. So. Um, now, where did I get that from in the here? Oof. So easy to totally forget where it came from. This one's going to be pretty straightforward. Once again, I'll just uh, bend it there. And doing that means that the tail ends up on the bottom, so. Must work out a better way. I should bend it up, shouldn't I? Oops, oh dear. Where'd that go? Went in the hole. Alright. Once again, I'll just try and get it with. Try and crimp that on there. There we go. I'll get as close to the original point as I can. Oh, that's a lot of solder. Okay. Over there. And what do we do? So we just get straight across. Oh. And a bit of solder on that. Okay, nice. All right, so that looks pretty good. I was going to trim it, but I don't think I need to. And I'll just pull that up. Try and make it look a bit neater than that. I just have to get them in line just for fun. There you go. That'll do. All right, so getting this slowly. Um, 
that one there, that's, oh yeah, that might have some decent voltage on that, 600 volts. Um, 0.1 microfarad. 0.1, don't make the same mistake, 0.1. One. Yeah, this one or this one. These ones have been used for something before. <coughs> Cutting off there. It's a nice looking one, that one. I like that one. That one there, so that's gonna kinda have a bit of voltage coming off that. Um I have transformer, um, so I'm going to just put a bit of heat shrink on that one. Do, 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 do. Okay, and that's going to earth, so I'm not going to worry about that. I don't know what we do here, bit of, bit of corrosion on that one. Now the flux. Should get rid of some of that. Should be able to clean that off as I go. Just, just kind of filing it using, <laughs> using the uh, long nose pliers. It's a bit weird, anyway. You know what? I don't think I need. I don't think I need. I don't think I need a bit of um, insulation on that. Um, oh gosh, what's it? What happens when you get old? Can't even get a sentence out and make any sense out of it. Just try and squeeze that up. Made that a bit tight, I think. I should have. Should have. Mm. Made that way too tight. I'll just use these pliers. These pliers have got a grip in the. a grip in the um, jaws there, so I can grab stuff. The other ones haven't, and I've got them specifically for um, doing this sort of thing so you don't damage the leads. So these ones are just flat. So they don't put the little crimp marks in leads when you're trying to work with them. I'll give myself a bit more room there. The only thing is with the ones without the grip of course just don't grip. So anything that needs any sort of grip um, really don't work. It just slips off all the time. Oops, like that. I was trying to get more length, so I didn't didn't really do a good job of doing a mechanical connection there. Anyway, right. come on, there we go. Come on, there we go. Yep, it's, uh, it's captured that original bit of um, wire there. No worries at all. Okay, that looks that's gonna look alright. And we just wrap that around there. See what I say? Just won't won't grip. But they're great for putting little bends in the uh, in the lead. I'm gonna grab that. So this isn't my, I've retired, as I was an aircraft engineer, so this is just a hobby of mine and I am learning on the, as I go along, very much. So I've only been doing it for about 18 months, so before 
I started I knew nothing about well, valves for one so um, if I say something wrong you'll know why all right what else we got here that is that one what's this thing there we go that one eh? that looks easy this one's a 0.047 wow I've actually got one of those 047 okay I know I usually try and put them there so I can go back and make sure I got the right one what did I cut it off there for pretty sure that was going to earth going down there Just, even when I do what I say I don't quite know what I'm doing Not much of a tail there, so kind of threw me a bit. Um, I could try and heat that up. I'll just turn my soldering iron up. Uh, I keep saying solder because we pronounce it solder here. Uh, that's going in all right, good. Quite sure how how they it seems to be the Americans and Canadians pronounce it solder as uh, solder. Um, I'm not quite sure where they do that. Just totally leave a letter out of your word. Anyway, it is what it is. Love Americans. that one then okay so I'm just gonna have to lay that on there same way they had it um, get some, I'll put some flux on there there's some flux in the in this rosin core solder of course now I'm going to try and melt that blob on there there we go that's going pretty good hmm. okay great nice let's trim that up Good. That over there, I'll have to replace that. Uh, now that one's only the tone control. Oof, gosh, I don't think. I don't know what sort of voltage it has on it for that one. Wouldn't be much. I would think. Have a quick look at the schematic again. I don't know where the tone control is. Where's the tone? There it is there. That was fast. Yeah, so that's just bleeding to earth. Uh, so you're on there, you've got almost no voltage on the on the grid. In fact, it could well be negative, couldn't it? Because it's, where's it's getting its voltage from? Behind that resistor. So a couple of resistors above ground there. Yeah, okay. So let's um might just leave that man should I or not? I'll leave it, we'll see what it sounds like. The only thing is if it's going to ground of course. 
I can't imagine it is. We'll check it with you. A little metre. What did we say it was? 0 0.1.0. Yep. So, I reckon that'll be alright. I'll worry about that one. Um, I could try these two, couldn't I? Why don't we have a go at those? I don't know what they are. Because. Looks like 0 0.022. And there you go, 0 0.022. So I can probably leave those. Certainly that one anyway. I'll just see what this one is if I can. Uh, 0 0.033. 0 0.033. Um, have a look at that. 1034. Okay. I'll leave those two. I don't know where they are, what they're doing. I'd have to get the valve schematic for the valve. Um, this wire here is just falling apart. Look, there's the insulation there. Gone. After it placed that. Okay, so that's got all of them. That one, not going to worry about that, that, or that. There's one hiding down there. I wonder what that's doing. It's got that blue wire going to it. Uh, not sure where the blue wire is going to. Is it going to the. That's going to the. Oh, let's cut that one off. So that's going. No, surely not. So that's going to the top of the tone control, isn't it? And there's the wiper to to ground, as we saw through that capacitor. So um, so there's the there's the other oh, wiper's going to ground. Sorry, it's just going straight to ground. So once again. I'm looking I'm looking at the wrong thing here <coughs> that's going to the wiper no it's not it's going to the end of the then the wiper goes through the capacitor to earth oh, I've got the wrong thing surely not Is that the volume control? Well, yeah, no, there it is there. No, that's the tone. That's the volume there. So it's not quite how it's done. It's got the cap. So that's yeah, that's totally that's a bit different. It's coming straight from that grid. Straight to earth, that can't be right, surely. Oh it's not going to earth, it's open, isn't it? Ah right. So it's going straight to there, then finding earth through the capacitor. So yeah, same thing, isn't it? Whether the capacitor's sitting there or sitting there. I think on ours it's sitting right there okay so okay so back to this what is that capacitor there doing that's the one that's feeding uh, that's that's feeding that grid so we should get that one out that must be the uh, coupling capacitor from the plate yeah, we need to get rid of that one. If that's leaky, we'll get voltage on the on the grid. So, the fact that I can't get to it, it's 
making it tricky. I can pin that away. That oh, one's been curled in there. I can't get that out of the way. All right, so. Mm. This is going to be fun. Get rid of that. And this other end there. Point zero one. That's a two. Point zero one. Zero one. Oops, get rid of those. Get that in there. Now my policy of trying to get that oh, gosh. <laughs> policy of trying to get the ratings on the top's not working with this one. There we go. All right, there we go. That's better. I can sit him in there. Nice. Nice. Okay. We're just. We're in uh, Queensland here. In Australia and they're just coming out of summer we're down the southern end of Queensland so they call us mid what are they called semi-tropic or something but the summer's great particularly after the Sun goes in at night it's terrific you can go outside and barbecue or whatever you want to do for your dinner it's um, you know, it's really nice at, at night maybe need a fan sometimes but generally it's pretty good but after three months or something of constant heat and humidity I'm happy to get a get back into this into the uh, into some winter for a while so it's just just in the last week, cooled off. We've been getting mid 30s, which in, uh, that's in uh, Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit anymore. Uh, where's that going? Is that it? Okay. About 30, 32. Humidity is usually about 50% or something. You just get a bit tired of being hot and sweaty. So I'm looking forward to winters. Winters here are fantastic. Sunny. Beautiful days. As I said, I was, a, I was an aircraft engineer, so this is well out of my area of expertise. I've always had a bit of an interest in um, electronics. I've always played with it, but generally didn't quite know totally what was going on. Uh, it was all transistors. 
that I ever played with and I still, although I, I kind of knew the basics of it, I didn't really know exactly what everything's for and I, I still don't with these things. I still can't work out why they put a capacitor somewhere. But I'm learning, learning as we go along and anyone's got any uh, helpful hints please comment. I'm uh, happy to learn. Alright, I think that's it. I'm not changing that, that or that. There's no more... That's, that's it, that's it. There's no more caps there. I think there may be one on the top. Let me have a look. Okay. Well, there is none on the top, so that was my imagination. Alright, well that's about it. I reckon we're... Uh, Good to go. I'll just I'll just change these wires. I won't get the uh, get the mud wasp shells off here. Look at this. Ugh. All right. There's a bit of this transformer doesn't look real flash either. Gosh. There's a bit of cardboard in there, or a bit of board, I should say, to keep the. Uh, I say it's only on one side, it may have poked through. I'll have to have a look at that, see what's going on there. We don't want the windings to short to the core of the thing. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay.